How's it going, guys? And I hope you're all having a great week. I know right now I'm missing some of that family time we had during the break now that we're back in the full swing in this busy schedule of life. All this week in our Five for Fives, we're talking about loving God. Now, Brooks and Jason have both shared some really great thoughts and passages on the topic. And when I saw the topic pop up on our Devo schedule a few weeks back, a song immediately jumped into my mind, Love is a Verb by DC Talk. Now, this is going way back, right? A little old school Christian music. And if you're looking it up later to listen to it, uh, love is actually spelled L-U-V on the song that I'm mentioning. But there is a lot of truth on that simple song title. I'm in the process of doing premarital counseling with two couples right now. And one thing that we always talk about a lot, actually, is that love isn't just a feeling or an emotion. It's an action. It requires an effort and intention to show properly. You can say you love your spouse all day long. But until you show them with your actions, it's just like saying that you love your favorite food or maybe you love your favorite pair of shoes. Now, of course, there are major differences in the level of love between those things and your spouse. But if you don't show it with your actions, then is it believable? You know, God has already shown us with some very clear actions how much he loves us. John 3.16 is a great example of God's love, that he loves us so much that he sent his son to die for us so that we won't perish but that we can have eternal life with him. Now, Jesus actually demonstrates that love in 1 John 3, 16, where we read, by this we know that, by this we know love, that he laid down his life for us and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. God clearly shows love with his actions. So the question then turns to us. How do we show our love for God in our actions? Is it in how much we attend church or how much we give to the poor or how many times a day we pray Guys, I don't think there's an exact algorithm that we follow to demonstrate our love for God. Instead, I think we show love for God by first following his commands. You know, John 14, 15 says, if you love me, you will keep my commandments. And then I think another way to put our love for God into action is by loving the people that he puts into our paths each day. John 13, 35 says, by this, all people will know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Loving God is something that we have to put into action. It can't just be a fun slogan or a mental appreciation for who God is. Guys, we have to give of ourselves, not to earn God's love, but to put love into action. After all, love is a verb. Guys, have a great week. Live out your love for God, and we will see you all very soon.